here I am inside the eSync account. I'm going to go to my test store to show you an unknown listing example. So what you'll need to do is click on the store that you need to go to and you can go to reports unknown listings and you'll see that I've got one unknown listing on this example. So there's a couple of ways you could find the proper SKU for this item. First you need to find out what market it comes from. Usually if you are drop shipping on your own without a repricing software you might have an Excel spreadsheet or something like that or a Google spreadsheet to keep up with this data. So the first way we'll do is I'm going to grab all the text in here. I'm just going to right click select all and copy. And then I'm going to go over to Amazon and I'll right click and paste that title in here. Now I'm going to give you a little clue on this. We can use our eSync Chrome tool to grab this SKU. Now let me show you what this is going to do. So this first SKU is going to be this exact pair of pants with this size. So you'll see in a minute when I click on it what it does. But this SKU right here, our Chrome tool grabs these in order. So there's a bunch down here below, but we're not worried about those. We're just worried about this first one. Now see, it doesn't select the size when I click on it, though. Now if we go back to our unknown listings, we can see what size it was. It was a 29 by 34. So if I go back to Amazon and I choose the 29 by 34, now I can go and choose my Chrome tool again. And you'll see that this actually says current, which means that the exact variation that I'm on is this SKU. And we can also confirm that up here in the URL. So here is that same SKU. I can double click and see that the B01CTPRIIU is the same as the SKU here. So I can confirm now that this is the proper Amazon ASIN. So I can right click and copy that. I can go back to my unknown listings and I can paste the product ID and choose Amazon.com and click Save. So there's another way that you can handle unknown listings as well. Say for an example that you have a lot of unknown listings here. Maybe you're using a similar software or maybe you keep up with all of your listings on a spreadsheet like I mentioned before. So to handle that, I'm going to show you what you need to do. Now to open up a new Google Docs spreadsheet, you'll need a Gmail account first and then you'll need to go to docs.google.com slash spreadsheets. And then you'll need to click blank and then you'll have a new spreadsheet. So what you'll need to do is if you're using a similar software, they should have a CSV download that you can use that contains all of your data. Or if you're drop shipping on your own and you keep up with all of that data on your own, you need to upload that spreadsheet. So I'm gonna use an example spreadsheet that I've downloaded already. So I'm gonna go to file, import, upload, and I'm just going to drag the file right here on top of it, and I'm going to replace current sheet. So here's my data, and this is just an example CSV. Your CSV may be a little bit different than this. So I'm going to reduce this spreadsheet down to only two columns, because that's all we need. We don't need the title column. We don't need the price, profit, quantity, Now what we have is our source product code and we have our listing ID from eBay. Now these are all going to be the unknown listings in eSync. What you need to do is have the listing column on the left. The easiest way to do that is grab this entire column by selecting the letter B up here and then you'll see I've got a hand here that I can grab and I can move that over. So now I put the listing column on the left which is what we want and the product ASAN on the right. So if yours looks something like this all you have to do is grab the entire column and then drag it over. Now we also don't need this first row. I'm going to right click the one right here because this is not an eBay ID and this is not an Amazon SKU. So I'm going to right click the one and I'm going to hit delete row. So now all I'm left with are my eBay IDs and my Amazon ASIN. And something else you might need to check is to make sure that there are no blank spots in either of the columns. I'll do this for an example. I'll delete this out. So this is going to mess up the upload if you find this, or if you find over here that this is messed up. This is going to mess up the upload of the CSV to eSync if you have a gap in your CSV file. Now what if you have 
10,000 or 20 or 30,000 listings here, you don't want to sit there and scroll down to try to find that. That would take a long time. I'll use this as an example. I'm going to delete this one out. You can just start at A1. Just click here. Hold Control, Shift, and Down Arrow all at the same time. So I'm, I'm holding Control. Now I'm, I'm holding Control and Shift. And now I'm going to push the down arrow button. And then I'm going to let go of everything. So now you see it took me to the first blank spot. And I'll show you this again on the on column B here. So I'm going to delete this one out. I'm going to go to B1. While I'm holding Control Shift, I'm going to click the down arrow on my arrow keys. So there I am, and it takes me to that first blank spot. So what you need to do to get around this, if you don't have this ASI in here, then you need to search it up. If you right-click copy, you might get an error like this. This is what you have. Don't, don't right-click copy. Just hit Control C. And then you would go over to the unknown listings, and you would paste it in here. You see, I don't have that one, obviously. But if it was this one, then it would find it for me. And then you could go about the same procedure that I showed you earlier to finding that ASIN. If you cannot find that ASIN, you could temporarily just delete this entire row, just right click and delete, and then just continue to find all your blank spots if you needed to. And by doing this at the very end, you would upload your CSV to eSync, and there would just be a handful of unknown listings, which really isn't too problematic for now. So once you've completed your Google spreadsheet or your Excel spreadsheet and everything is correct, you can go to File, Download As, Comma Separated Values, or CSV. And it's going to download it for you in your recent downloads here. So you'll go back to eSync. You'll go to Tools, Sync, Unknown Listings. And here you need to make sure you click the correct source market. So if you have a mixture of Amazon and Walmart and Costco, maybe AliExpress, you need to separate those into their own spreadsheets. If you have multiple spreadsheets and this one is your AliExpress, then that's how you would do this. And just make sure that all of these SKUs are the correct source market. So in my example, they're all Amazon.com SKUs, and I'll choose my spreadsheet, and then I'll click Sync. This may take some time depending on how many listings you have, but usually you can do 10,000 listings in a matter of 15 seconds or less. Once you complete this step, you can go back to your reports and unknown listings, and you should see that the majority of your unknown listings are taken care of and completed now. In my example here, of course, we didn't actually update this unknown listing because it was just an example, so mine still shows in here. But you should be able to go to your actual listings page and see a lot more listings. A quick side note, if you are fulfilling your own inventory from your own warehouse or you manually fulfill your orders, all of those listings that you have are going to show up in the unknown listings page. They won't have a source product tied to them and that's no problem. We don't charge for listings that are in the unknown listings page. We don't reprice for them. We don't auto order on those. So if you're using eSync repricing and auto ordering from Amazon and Walmart and you're also doing your own fulfillment, it's not going to affect any of that. They'll just show up as unknown listings here and it won't be a problem at all. Okay, I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click subscribe in the bottom right corner of the video. We have a lot of other great videos that will help you become a successful dropshipper.